Hey, I'm Amanda, and I'm a project manager um, for climate change and finance at Global Infrastructure Basel Foundation. Hi, my name is Juraj. I'm director of infrastructure and nature at GAB Foundation in Basel. So uh, we are today presenting uh, Global Infrastructure Basel Foundation. Um, we are a Swiss non-for-profit organization established in 2008, and we are dedicated um, to advancing sustainable resilience and regenerative infrastructure uh, by focusing on um, sustainable infrastructure design, fostering um, collaborations with uh, several stakeholders and innovative finance. And um, GRB is actually working along three different pillars. So we have the infrastructure and next generation. We have infrastructure quality and finance. And um, under this pillar, GRB has the role of a secretariat for the fast infra label since the end of 2022. And the last pillar um, is the infrastructure and nature. And under this pillar, we are actually engaged in several horizon projects focusing on um, nature-based solutions, climate change, finance and insurance. For example, Soteria and Natalie, uh, P2R, and Revalue. Um, and besides that, um, in the infrastructure and nature pillar, we are working with our in-house project origination methodology for nature-based nature solutions, and uh, especially focused on water-related challenges like floods. Um, and this methodology is called the Nature for Catchment Launch Ramp. Um, and today we would like to share this um, methodology um, with you. So we will start with um, a quick video on a methodology and uh, provide you afterwards with more um, details and, um, and a case study. Nature, in all its beauty and complexity, provides amazing solutions to some of the world's biggest problems, like river flooding. Floods cause huge economic losses, while directly affecting the well-being and security of our communities, industries and the infrastructure systems we all rely on. Floods are increasingly visible evidence of the way we use land and the impact of climate change and the direct damage they cause could triple during the 21st century if we don't take additional adaptation measures. To combat floods, we need to think innovatively and ensure that decision makers have the information and capacity required to plan effective adaptation measures. That's why we have come up with a solution. The Nature for Catchments launch ramp a methodology that provides a structured and guided framework to begin the adaptation process reducing the impact of floods through nature-based solutions. Unlike traditional grey solutions, nature-based solutions emphasise the protection and recovery of our natural systems in a way that provides not only infrastructure-like services, but many other co-benefits as well. As either a complement to or replacement for conventional grey infrastructure, Nature-based solutions can help limit recurring flood impact and damage more sustainably and cost-effectively. The Nature for Catchments launch ramp is primarily designed to be used by public sector leaders, local communities and investors. The launch ramp methodology consists of five steps. 1. Defining the ambition for the project. 2. Conducting site analysis. 3. Evaluating the policy and governance. Four, identifying applicable nature-based solutions. Five, structuring suitable financing. The methodology has been successfully deployed in catchments exposed to high flood risk in the Mediterranean. Are you a public authority looking for flood management support or an investor seeking to make an impact? Get in touch and learn more about closing the climate adaptation gap to secure a more resilient future. So, um, as you saw in the video before, the Nature for Catchment launch ramp uh, consists of several um, components, and um, these components are relevant for, first of all, to ensure that the public sector stakeholders have the right information um, to implement effectively implement uh, climate adaptation projects. Um, but also we developed the, the methodology to um, yeah, create alignment among the key stakeholders um, to set up an 
common vision and ambition uh, for the MBS implementation. The methodology helps to identify the local champions that are relevant in the local context to help to implement nature-based solutions, but also support it. Um, besides that, the Nature for Catchments launch ramp uh, identifies key MBS interventions and specific sites that are best for the implementation and confirms the viability of um, MBS interventions from a technical and political point of view. And that's also one of the reasons why the public, the, the stakeholders are so important to, to be involved. Um, and then as, um, a less component is actually the financing component. Um, and this helps to explore whether um, a specific infrastructure service can be delivered more cost effectively through MBS rather than a hybrid or gray infrastructure solutions. And um, with the methodology, we um, hope to improve access to both public and fin private financing mechanisms. Um, to develop impactful MBS and infrastructure projects. So the methodology that has just been explained, we have deployed it in uh, catchment uh, called uh, Tessali Plain in Greece in collaboration with WWF and the European Investment Bank, among the other partners. And we were really interested to assess technical feasibility of nature-based solutions, which seems, um, which seems to be actually feasible from the perspective of space available for nature-based solutions and very friendly topography. Uh, and we also assessed interest from different stakeholders, namely the region, cities, uh, academic institutions, and even the national government who were in involved in the process. Um, another very important aspect of this assignment, of this assessment, was to engage some insurance companies and even reinsurance companies in the process, um, where we had two objectives. One was to see if um, insurance sector or reinsurance sector would be interested to ensure some of the uh, phases of uh, project development cycle of nature-based solutions, so mainly construction and operation phases, and even going further and ensuring some of the benefits and co-benefits of, of nature-based solutions. And secondly, um, implementing nature-based solutions, on the other hand, could allow uh, and enable more uh, insurance penetration in the region and making it some in some ways even more affordable, reducing uh, the insurance premium. So these were two key objectives. So and besides the Nature for Catchments loan tramp uh, that is focused on project origination for nature-based solutions, uh, GAB um, is also a secretariat for Fast Infra Label, which is a global label um, focused on um, assessing and labeling sustainable infrastructure uh, assets. Um, it is a private sector-led uh, initiative that is uh, supported by many private investors. Um, and the label can assess uh, and label any type of infrastructure project from different sectors, um, whether it's gray, green, or hybrid. Um, and nature-based solutions, when they're integrated into infrastructure, they have always positive contribution, of course, against the criteria of the label, which makes it, of course, easier for the project to get uh, labeled by Fast Info Label. So integrating nature-based solutions is seen as a very positive uh, thing to do. Um, GAB is testing this label and is working very closely with SECO, which is Swiss State Secretariat for Economic Affairs and GZ, to develop a sponge city project to contribute to flood and drainage water management in Vietnam based on, on Fast Info Label Framework from design uh, and planning uh, until, of course, implementation. Mm -hmm.